when kindness is seen as weakness. In our last video, I said, I had to learn an entirely new way of living that I didn't even agree with. Then deal with a bunch of people who made being mean and nasty a way of life and who saw my kindness as weakness. This is very reptilian behavior, by the way. In their eyes, it's justification for their becoming exploitative, because they think they can get away with it, especially family members, another thing I wasn't expecting nor could ever get used to until now. It's true. People on earth have reptilian DNA, therefore can express reptilian traits of being mean and nasty. It was necessary for the dark ones to do this in order to lower our expressible consciousness level. Most people live through their lower three chakras. If their higher chakras have any say, it's limited. Because of the Zeta seal, see our video of last week, heart is not used in interaction with others. That means kindness. Instead, people believe behaviors like bullying, aggressing, being nasty, insulting, arguing and more, are normal human behaviors. They're not. I've spoken to ETS for five years now, every day and they are never mean. Never. Never ever. They will speak their truth but they'll do it as carefully as possible because they know that, even though the light worker may believe they have a mean streak, they also are highly sensitive. Fact is, you're not what you believe yourself to be. Turn off mind control, and you'll find yourself a much nicer person than you ever thought you were. Same as everyone else. So many people are manipulated by demonic attachments that their only expression is of such low frequency that is is an absolute distortion of the true human condition, an abomination even. Fact is, we do have reptilian DNA, however we are also subject to mind control which makes us mean and makes us engage in the behaviors I just mentioned. When you feel the need to be aggressive with others, it's prompted behavior coming from outside of yourself, so just ignore it. Yes. Read what Lisa Renee says about mind control on her excellent websites and you'll be surprised to understand that you never were nasty, neither are the people who have been nasty towards you. They just believe that they are because they are mind controlled. If you find nasty thoughts in your head, send them light. Raise your frequency in order to move away from feeling this way. If you can't, you're probably processing old energy, or helping others process theirs so be patient with yourself and others. Don't use your energy to create more negativity. Render it inert but don't act it out. We do have a lot of negative energy to clear up. We created this negativity, this unreality, and made it so real we are affected by it, but again that's all belief. That's how powerful we are as creators. If we believe it, we can create it. Even an unreality. That's why earthlings are trapped here by AI, an AI that wants to use us to create a reality for it. You're not fearful either. You just think you are. Like they say, fear, false evidence appearing real. Fear is not real. The only real thing is love. We have to deal with emotions daily that aren't even a part of who we really are or even reality because only love is real. The way to deal with them is to ignore them and raise your frequency. The higher you go in frequency, the more of your true self you'll embody. We are being used to create an unreality. Absolutely fake reality that has nothing to do with the true nature of life, love. Love is an energy. It can be broken down into vibrational frequencies but it's all love. The only reality is a positive reality. There is no negativity really. We've been taught to believe there is, but there isn't. Why? Because ultimately, and I repeat that, ultimately, out of everything we see as bad, good comes out of it. Ivo, you are subject to low vibrational frequencies. All of you are. Until you remove any link within your psyche to those low frequencies, such as healing childhood trauma, you will continue to experience low frequency states. This is what the light workers have contracted to do when they came to Earth to remove the low frequency energies from your planet. Much has been cleaned up since the 1940s, as there were many indigos who came in in the 50s and 60s. They are natural transmitters. In effect, 
you transmuted the lush that the dark ones so highly prize as their sustenance. All indigos should be very proud of their ability to transmute this lush. You are taking food from the mouths of the devil. That is how strong you are. You are clearing the earth of its negativity and allowing it to ascend. This is incredible. Me, go on. LOL. Ivo, LOL yes, you wish to know your power, you have the power to clear up all of the negativity on earth. That powerful. As a group, you can do this. You are starving the beast. Me, no wonder they try to kill us. Ivo, yes, this is one reason why. You are natural healers, the indigos. You make wonderful doctors, nurses and care home workers. You are naturally attuned to the suffering of others and unless your own suffering is greater, you gladly help out others and relieve them of pain wherever possible. Me, good point. Unless your suffering is greater. We're not all available 24-7. Ivo, nor should you be. It is up to you to regulate your own frequency. If it is low due to an excess of work, then you must rest and get your frequency back up. Constant working to help others while disregarding one's own need to replenish energy is folly. As for kindness being seen as weakness, this is mind control. In no other way but through further aggression and trauma could the matrix agenda be put forward, to intimidate others into falling into line. This is why there are so many who are low frequency haters as you call them. They are part of the control agenda, the agenda that seeks to have you all fall into line with the narrative. People who are kind and good hearted do not. So it was decided they should be intimidated into lowering their frequency. To shut their heart chakras. Those with big hearts who look out for others, who care for others, the Zeta seal is not effective on, hence they had to find other ways to keep your frequency down. Me, like that worked. Ivo, and you are too strong for them. When you come across a hater, perhaps a troll, perhaps a critic who must nitpick our messages to find something wrong with them, you simply ignore them. Others' opinions mean little to you when you have us to listen to. Me, true. Plus I'm soul connected and I listen to her. I believe you have to be very discerning when it comes to other people and I've had to speak to people on social media about letting others' opinions hurt them. There are so many ego games these low balls get up to, and it has to do with dominance and making themselves out to be better than you, nasty comparisons. They do it to compensate for their own sense of poor self-esteem, which of course they get because they're in their egos and not soul connected. Try to help them and they just defend themselves, which is what the ego does, so you just let them be. Eventually they'll figure it out, but just not today. Figuring it out is a process that often takes lifetimes. Folks, it does happen. Eventually what others say, particularly the mean ones we're speaking of, don't hurt you. The hurt goes away. In my case it was because my father was like that and ridiculed me any chance he got. Of course I don't hold him responsible because I know it was his attachments that were doing this. They had to work hard to lower my frequency and get my soul to split and it worked. Yes, I was targeted by the dark. You may have been as well. Remember, I speak of my own experience here because I believe you may have had similar or can relate to it in some way. If you'd told me 20 years ago I'd be putting out my life story to the general public, I'd have told you you were crazy, however, I use it to help people. Not to talk about myself. I'm not really worried about this because I have another body and another life to go to after this is over so I'm me but I'm not. I have two bodies right now and two names, Sharon and Tianya. So I have a split personality, and a soul and Christ self with their own names too. LMAO. I'm happy to sacrifice all my secrets for the sake of helping people to recognize they are okay even though they may think they're not. You are. You're okay right now. When you get rid of all the ego you've accumulated throughout your life, you'll start to see who you really are, and then you'll know you're okay and always have been. As for dealing with nasty people, there are many ways to deal with them, and it depends on where you are in frequency. 
either assert your boundaries with them. Or just plain ignore them. Love them anyway. Not care about what they say. Send them white light. Realize you attracted them for some reason, even if that reason is to bring you down or for you to bring them up. When the dark sends its minions, do your good work on them. You can go about creating your own reality where these nasties aren't a part of it. I did that on Facebook. I insisted that I wouldn't put up with arguers, dissenters, and other big egos and slowly but surely, they all started to drop away from following me. The odd one I blocked out until one day I got rid of them all and now have the followership I have now. It's not big but it's the size I want it to be, and I have no trolls following me. You can do it. Just insist on it and empower it. Create it. Ivo, this is true, my love. You did do this. You were even surprised. But remember, you create your reality. You can have anyone in your life that you specify. Just hold the correct frequency. However, as for the healers, remember you attract those in need of healing. That is law of attraction as well. Me, when people are mean to you, remember they're hurting. They're trying to share their pain instead of healing themselves. They just have it on wrong. You have to be a step ahead of them. Ivo, so true, my love. I will leave you for now as you need to have lunch. Me, yes, eating is even more important now, particularly for healing. Just a note, I have posted before that there was a chemtrail program going on above my city, six months of constant chemtrailing, and six months off. From August to February 1st, almost to the day, we were under a blanket of chemtrails, and now it's been almost two months since August 1st and the skies are beautiful blue and sunny. It seems to have stopped. How can you tell what chemtrails are and what they aren't? For one thing, they don't show up on weather radar which you can find on your local weather station online. I look for any sign of improvement with respect to governmental control, deep state programming, and although we're now into a predicted second wave of COVID, chemtrails have largely abetted. It's sunny again today. Thank God.